This is an incredible new product and a great way to build out forms on your WordPress website. I'm talking about the new Ninja Forms 3, and I just clicked this little link, right, when I got to this page, and you should see what happened, right? I'm looking at a totally blank screen, which is not normally the interface that you see when you're looking to build a form. And I look at it and I go, okay, what's gonna happen? Now I saw this plus button down here, but if I were a newbie that didn't know anything about this, I'm not sure I'd be comfortable enough to click it. But I just clicked here and I saw exactly what happened, right? It opened up the panel and it showed me all the different fields that I have available to me. Now, what's nice is these are not dramatically different fields than they've had before, but by changing up the layout, changing the approach to how we do it, it makes it very, very comfortable to look at this. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that right here at the beginning, it says start from a template. And I absolutely love that as well, because there are people who go, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to use this interface. And so you'll see this, even though I didn't know initially that this was actual button, the moment I roll over it, it tells me everything I need to know that says, hey, you should click this. And when I do, what happens is everything just gets loaded on the screen automatically, right? The event intro description, a divider, the first and last name, all the fields that I want are here automatically. You can imagine that going forward, they will have many more of these, right? It just makes great sense. And uh, as you saw when I talked about um, a, another uh, easy um, WordPress forms uh, player, right, that they were doing this too, that you start with a template. Um, Formable Pro has templates as well. So this notion that I don't have to start from just the controls, and yet the controls are there. The moment I click on plus, I see all of them. And of course, you'll notice that again, this interface has changed so that the the uh, background context of each of these controls, like this is a phone number, is hidden away until I click on this field. It highlights it so I know what I'm looking at and it gives me all this in this new space, the side area, right? I can interact with uh, restrictions and requirements. I can interact with the display. Um, so there's a lot going on here. Now, if you've used uh, Ninja Forms before, this notion of the one half container, which is the CSS class that makes sure that it only takes up half the page or whatever, um, all of that is the same. So it's not like they, uh, they made it more complicated or they took away features that you used to have, right? What's nice is simply that they've made an, a completely different interface to it, right? And I like some of these styles and the style options that I get with it um, because if you're like me, you start working with the form and you realize the form fields are the least bit of what makes my form work. It's how good it looks. It's how much spacing I have around the text. It's how big the thing is. It's whether or not the fields look really small and the text even smaller, right? And so you have all that ability to work with it there as well. So this is uh, just a quick look at some of what I like most about Ninja Forms. I'm about to, in the rest of this post, show you um, how I used it to build a little form that would allow you to create a blog post for my son, who I don't want him interacting with the entire editor. I just want him to go to a page, fill out the form, and it'll automatically generate his posts. You'll see that lower in the post.